Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Jessica here. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing another furniture flip with you guys. I got this dresser for free and I'm gonna be giving it a makeover and selling it for a profit. So if you would like to see its transformation, just keep watching. So like I said, I got this dresser for free. It was left behind by the previous tenant after they moved out. After moving the dresser around a few times, I kind of understood why they left it. This thing was a beast. It is made of solid oak wood and is super, super heavy. So the first thing I did was remove the drawers and removed all of the hardware off of them. Next, I grabbed my hand orbital sander, plugged it in and got to sanding the fronts of the drawers. The finish on the drawers was pretty durable, so it took a little bit to sand down the finish. But once it all came off, it revealed a really nice rustic look. And I think I'm gonna leave the drawers this raw wood as I really like the rustic vibe. So I wasn't loving this little detailing on the top of the dresser, so I grabbed a chisel and a screwdriver and I pried them off. They came off pretty easily and I did that on both sides and I pulled out the finishing nails that were on there and I used wood putty to fill in the holes and then I sanded them down. Next, I gave the entire dresser a really good cleaning using soapy water and a rag. After wiping that all down with the soapy water, I came back with clean water to remove any of the residue. Today, I'm gonna to be using this chalk paint by Waverly Inspirations. I am using elephant color. So I bought this paint at Walmart. It was about $6 for this eight ounce bottle. I used almost the entire bottle for the dresser, but there's still about a quarter left of paint after I finished painting everything. I love the color of this paint and it is a super nice, rich, brayish gray color and I just, I'm in love. This paint has really good coverage and it went on really nicely. So for the top drawer, it had this weird shell inlay thing, so I'm not really loving it. So I'm just gonna use wood filler and fill it in. And my wood filler is a little old and dried up, so it was a little goopy to use, but it worked. After the wood filler dried, I used my hand sander to sand that down. It wasn't real smooth, so I had to apply a couple more coats of the wood filler to get it all filled in. But for the rest of the drawers, I'm giving them a good cleaning to remove all the dirt and the sawdust. Then I used a small paintbrush to paint the edges of the drawers. Since I really like the look of the natural raw wood on the drawer fronts, I'm just gonna leave them as is and then just paint the edges of the drawers. So after I got the shell inlay filled in real well, I applied a coat of the paint to it, but after I let that dry, you could still kind of see the shape of it. So I'm gonna have to do something different to cover that up. I had some leftover Luon pieces, so I cut it down to size and laid it on that over the inlay and then used a nail gun and nailed it in place. And then I painted over it. After the paint is thoroughly dried, I applied a second coat of paint to the dresser. So now that I'm editing this video, I realize how ridiculous it is that I'm using this tiny little paintbrush to paint this dresser. I started painting the drawers with this brush and then I just kept using it. And for some reason, I never even thought about getting a larger brush until now. So please don't judge me for this. So after I applied the second coat of paint and allowed that to dry, I'm gonna be using this volierthane 
triple thick polyurethane. It's a water-based sealer to seal the dresser. The sealer is super thick and concentrated and a little goes a long way. And I went ahead and applied two coats of the sealer to the dresser and the drawers. So one of the tracks of the drawers had a little issues. It had been screwed in place, but the screw had kind of split the wood and the drawer just wasn't fitting in it very well. So we pulled the screw out and then used a nail gun and nailed the track into place. So I bought this nice black hardware for the drawers and then I installed them. So just a quick reminder of what the dresser looked like before and here it is now. I love the rich coloring of the dresser and I love the rustic look that the raw wood drawer fronts give it. So let's talk numbers real quick. I got the dresser for free. I spent about $12.25 on the hardware. I bought the paint for $6.98, although I do have some paint left over. And I figured I have about $2 worth of sealer on the dresser. So that is an all-in cost of $21.23. I listed the dresser on Facebook Marketplace for $145 and I sold it within the day. So that is a grand total of $123 profit on this piece. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you are not already a subscriber to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and we will see you guys in the next video.